This is Vancouver Island. Nice, isn't it? And this is Alberta. here to here. Well, we would move for the best season yet. Early in 2022, we've decided to move from Victoria, BC to Alberta. Final terrible place, completely empty. That's it. Off to a new adventure. We've packed all of our belongings in a U-Haul and off we went. Are you gonna go with me? Come on, Cutter. No, <laughs> you drive in different car. Hey, bud, let's go. 13 hours later, we were in Calgary. The place we call home now. There were a lot of bird encounters and training days before the season started. Whoa. But both myself and Coda were waiting patiently for the hunting season to begin. Season started with some really hot weather. Coda was having trouble dealing with these temperatures. And often, I've carried more water in my vest than birds. We've tried to stay cool as much as possible and had some successful days early on. Hunting in the morning and afternoon and chilling somewhere close to the water when it was too hot. As season progressed, mornings became cooler and hunting days longer. It was great to share these days with friends. Among all, we probably hunted most with Jody and Millie. The red and gray dogs turned out to be a great team and we've shared a lot of memorable moments this year. We spend a lot of time on the road. I guess it's a given when you're an upland hunter. Looking back, I would say every mile was worth it. Above all, I love hunting in the prairies. Some might find prairie landscape boring, but for me, it's complex, deep, and magical. Not always caught a point in birds. We had two unusual points this season. Whoa. This one is the first. Pointing a badger. Interesting fact about badgers. Badgers sometimes are hunted by coyotes. Coyotes sometimes are hunted by badgers. And sometimes coyotes and badgers hunt together. A lot like people, eh? This was probably one of the most memorable days this season. We met up with Jody and Millie to put some miles on boots and hopefully get into a bird or two. Some of us met iconic prairie characters. Coda was a cowboy, he'll be rolling around these towns like tumbleweeds. But anyways, back to hunting. We've moved to another spot and as we were parking, a covey of hunts took off. But as soon as we got out of the trucks, Coda slammed on point and not at the spot where Covey flushed. To my surprise, it was not the hunt that he was pointing. <laughs> Shooting my first sharp tail grouse from under a beautiful point by my pal. Boy, was I happy.
Coda's last point of that day was on the bird for Jody to shoot. On that trip, not only I got my first sharp tail, Jody did as well. And I managed to shoot one hand out of 100 code appointed. Throughout the season, we've hunted with a lot of new friends. Not always we've filmed or filmed enough, and that's a pity as we've seen some amazing dog work. As season progressed, days became shorter and colder. Low temperatures did not stop us from hunting. Somehow we managed to go through the season without any accidents. I guess we prepaid our adventure dues last year. I want to thank you for a great season. You did great. It was an amazing season and best season yet for both myself and you. Are you looking forward to the next one?